Okay, in this section we are going to talk about everyone's least favorite topic. We're going to talk a little bit about loans. Um, unfortunately, in this day and age, loans are, um, while perhaps not a necessity, certainly something that most of us need to use in order to get some of the big things that we want. Um, common things for loans are mortgages, which are just loans on houses. Um, mortgages, I forgot to either. Uh, mortgages, um, of course, things like car payments, our car loans, um, and then having to make car payments on those. And then any variety, sometimes we hear the word amortized loan. This is just any loan that you are paying back over a set period of time. Um, so whether it's you're trying to finance your couch um, or your or or things along those lines what we're doing is we're taking out a loan and paying it back over a set period of time um, as you're solving for loans the interesting thing to note is that a loan is really the same thing as a payout annuity and not oh, sorry we'll do it that way payout annuity um, the reason is this we talked a little bit in the one of the first couple of videos of this unit, we talked about how um, interest could either have its powers for good or its powers for evil, I guess, if you want to think of it that way. Um, and if you're trying to save money and accumulate wealth, then interest is working for you. And if you're trying to, and if, if you have a loan or something and you're kind of paying, um, essentially what you're doing is you're paying out money to a another entity and so the idea here with a payout annuity is basically you're starting with your loan and you're making those payments out you're just giving them back to the bank to pay off what your loan amount was um, as a result of this great relationship here between payout annuities and loans we in fact use exactly the same formula when we are trying to figure out a payout annuity or when we're trying to figure out a loan so we're still using this one um, P0, so how much you're taking your loan out for, is equal to D. This is your um, regular payment that you're making, whether you're paying $100 a month or $8,000 a year or whatever your payout is um, that you're doing at a regular basis, times 1 minus 1 plus R divided by K to the negative NK divided by R divided by K. So this is the whole big payout annuity thing, and all of those things are going to be very, very similar. So let's suppose then that we would like to buy, um, actually before we do that, let's suppose that we would like to buy a new house. Um, and when we're looking at mortgage payments, we figure that we can afford $1,200 per month towards a mortgage payment, towards a house payment. Um, we'll just assume that we can take care of taxes and um, all of those extra financial things um, beyond homeowners insurance and all of that. But in terms of just paying back the mortgage, we can we can afford twelve hundred dollars per month. Uh, we have a thirty year loan. Um, interest rates are actually doing pretty hot right now, and we qualified for a forty five or forty five <laughs> blah four point five percent loan for my mortgage. And so the question is, how big of a mortgage or how big of a mortgage can I actually afford? Uh, at the end of the day, you know, what what house pay, what which what, what should I tell my real estate agent to look for in terms of how expensive a, of a house I can I can try to buy. Uh, so if we want to do that, what we're looking for is we're looking for P0. We're looking for the starting amount of my loan. And that's what I'd like to figure out. And in this case, it's just a matter of plugging everything in to my formula and then evaluating everything carefully on the calculator. Um, keep in mind, D is the amount of your payments, which in this case, I can afford $1,200 payments. R is the interest rate. In this case, I qualified for a 4.5% interest rate, which written as a decimal. Move the decimal two places to the left, 0 0.045. K 
K is how many compounding periods per year. Um, because I'm making monthly payments, I assume that that K is 12. Capital N is the number of years. Mortgage, house mortgages are typically 30-year loans, so um, we're just qualifying for a regular traditional thing. And I think that fills in all the variables that we need. P naught, again, is what I'm looking for here, um, the amount of loan I can afford. So in this case, I've got uh, 1,200 for D. 1 minus 1 plus R is 0 0.045 divided by K is 12 to the negative 30 times 12. And again, a very good idea to put that exponent set in parentheses. Um, and then close the parentheses. Now double check, you've got a big parentheses at the end, something before the exponent, then something in front of the one here and in front of the one here. So I've got all my parentheses placed appropriately. Then all divided by R, which again was 0 0.045, divided by K, which was 12. Now, again, enter this whole fun thing in on your calculator. We'll clear everything out. Let's see what it looks like. 1,200 parent times in parentheses. 1 minus, open the next set of parentheses um, to get the interest rate part. So it's 1 plus 0 0.045 divided by 12. Close the parentheses and then use the caret button to show that I would like an exponent. Then we need it to be negative NK, so be sure to use the negative button. Uh, N is 30 years times K is 12 years and close the parentheses. Oops, I forgot to open them here. So that my exponent is in parentheses. Here we go. And then here I need to use the arrow key to get back to the main level. So caret to get the exponent parentheses, negative 30 times 12, so that that whole thing is an exponent. Remember, that should be negative, not subtract. And then I need to close the bottom set of, ex of parentheses so that that whole top numerator portion is being evaluated. Then divided by, in parentheses, 0 0.045 over 12. And hit enter, and I should get how big of a mortgage I can afford. So in this case, I can afford up to $236,833.39. And so you can tell your real estate agent that as long as she's under that price, uh, you should be good to go for um, being able to afford that particular loan on your salary. So um, anyway, pay out annuity or loans, no matter which type of loan you're dealing with, it really doesn't matter. Um, just be aware that we are using always the payout annuity formula um, because the idea is that however much you still owe the bank, they're going to continue charging you interest on what you owe them um, until you pay them back. Um, if you've ever looked at... Um, trying to pay a vehicle off early in the first year, um, when you try to pay off a vehicle, you'll note, or if they break down like your principal and interest, you'll notice that you pay a lot of interest at the beginning of your car loan. Um, so it seems like your car loan is being paid down very slowly. But at the, the end of your car loan period, um, almost all of the money that you pay off is in principal with only a little bit of interest. And that's because the bank has can only charge you interest on the amount that's still in the bank. Um, and so at the beginning where you're in, where your principal is very high, you're paying a lot of interest at the beginning, and at the end when your car is almost paid off and there's not very much left on the account balance, then your interest amount is low at the end, and so you end up paying the um, car off faster at the end of the loan period than you did at the beginning because you're paying less in interest. Um, so anyway, that's kind of the process for how things work. So give those couple of homework problems um, from the study guide a try, and then come back, and we'll take a look at what happens um, if you found the car of your dreams and you'd like to know what the car payment's going to be when you walk off the lot. So that'll be our next problem when you come back.